Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa finite and infinite sets. What you will learn today, differentiate finite from infinite sets. Identify the cardinality of finite and infinite sets. And enumerate the properties of finite and infinite sets. So let's start our lesson with exploration activity. Given set A, the set of all positive even numbers. So when you say even numbers, so those are numbers divisible by 2. And then, set B is the set of even numbers between 0 and 10. So, what can you say about the two given sets? So, let's start with set A. So, what are those all positive even numbers? So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So, there are infinitely many positive even numbers. While on set B, what are those numbers, even numbers between 0 and 10? 2, 4, 6, 8. So, nakapagbigay tayo ng apat because, sabi, between 0 to 10. So, yung una, infinitely many. So, eto naman ay pwedeng mabilang or we can easily give because it is distinct. And that is our topic for today, the difference between finite and an infinite sets. Because the two given sets are example of finite and infinite sets. So let's start with finite sets. Are the sets having a finite countable number of members? Finite, finite sets are also known as countable sets as they may be counted. Examples, set A, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Set B, the set of all A such that A is an integer wherein it should be greater than 1 but less than 10. And then set C, the set of all English alphabets. So, the, these three examples are finite sets. So, how can we get the cardinality of a finite set? So, if A represents the number of elements of set A, then the cardinality of a finite set is the number of set A equals to A. So, kuhanin natin yung cardinality ng ating three examples kanina. So, set A is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, all the members or elements are already listed. So, we just count. So, the number of A is 5. So, that is for our first example. For our second example, it is in set notation. So, the set of all A such that A is an integer wherein A should be greater than 1 but less than 10. So, we need to list all the elements that will satisfy with a given set notation. So, ano ba yung mga integers na mas malaki sa 1 pero hindi lalagpas ng 10? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, we just count the elements. So, therefore, the number of set B is 8. So, that is the cardinality of the given finite set. And then, for our last example, so, for set C, we have the set of all English alphabets. So, we just list all the letters in an English alphabet. So, hindi ko na nilista kasi sobrang haba. That is A, B, C, up to Z. So, therefore, how many letters are there in an English alphabet? So, there are 26. Okay, let's talk about the properties of a finite set. The following finite set conditions are always finite. 
a subset of a finite finite set. The union of two finite sets, the power set of a finite set. So let's have an example. Given set P, what are the elements of set P? 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is a finite set. Set Q, 2, 4, 6, 8. That is also a finite set. And then set R, 2, 3, that is also a finite set. First, here, all the P, Q, R are the finite sets because the elements are finite and countable. So, pwede nating mabilang yung elements ng bawat given sets. For set P, you have 4. For set Q, you have 4 elements. And for set R, you have 2 elements. So, therefore, the 3 given sets are finite because elements are countable. So, R is a subset of P because all the elements of set R are present in P. So, yung elements ni R na 2, 3 ay present sa element ng set P. So, the subset of a finite set is always finite. Okay? P union Q is, pagsamahin lang yung elements ng P at Q, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. So, the union of two sets is also finite. So, those are the properties of finite sets. So, another, the number of elements of a power set equals 2 raised to n. The number of elements of the power set of set P is 2 to the 4th equals to 16. As the number of elements of set P is 4, so it shows that the power set of a finite set is finite. So, how about an infinite set? The number of elements in that set is not countable. And also, we cannot represent it in roster form. So, therefore, we cannot list all the elements. Thus, infinite sets are also known as uncountable sets. So, ang tawag sa infinite sets ay uncountable sets. So, let's have an example of infinite sets para compare natin sa finite. So, to represent the elements of an infinite set are represented by three dots or which is called the ellipse or ellipses to represent the infinity of that set. Example, the set of all whole numbers. Kapag nilista natin yan, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then tatlong dot. A set of all points on a line. So, there are infinitely many points lying on a given line. The set of leaves on A3. That is also infinitely many. So, those are examples of infinite sets. How about the cardinality? The cardinality of a set is the number of set A equals to X, where X is the number of elements of set A. The cardinality of an infinite set is the number of A equals to infinite as the number of elements is unlimited in it. So, we cannot give the cardinality of an infinite set because it is unlimited. And we have the properties of infinite sets. The union of two infinite sets is infinite. If the two given sets are infinite, of course, their union is also infinite. The power set of an infinite set is infinite. The superset of an infinite set is also infinite. When you say superset, it is the set of another set. Then the power set of an infinite set is unlimited because its elements are also unlimited. So those are the properties of infinite sets. So to summarize our lesson today, so, I presented our topic in tabular form. So, let's talk about the number of elements. Kapag finite, countable. Kapag infinite, uncountable. Kapag naman continuity ang finite sets, 
Meron siyang start, meron din siyang ending elements. Halimbawa, nag-start ka sa 1, matatapos ka sa 5. Kapag naman infinite sets, it is endless from the start or end. Both the side could have continuity. Halimbawa, dot, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dot, dot, dot. Ibig sabihin, pwede mag-continue lower than 1 or higher than 5. Kapag naman cardinality, sa finite sets, there is a cardinality. Kapag naman infinite sets, hindi natin ma-identify yung cardinality because it is uncountable or the elements are unlimited. Kapag union sa finite sets, union of two sets is finite. Kapag naman infinite sets, the union of two infinite sets is infinite. So, ganun po siya. So, sa power set, ganun din po kapag finite, edi finite din. Kapag infinite, infinite. Sa roster method, when in terms of listing all the elements, kapag finite, we can easily represent it in roster form. Kapag naman infinite sets, it cannot be represented in roster form. So, we use three dots to represent the infinity. So, I hope that you learned something today. So, for your activity, just a simple activity, you need to identify which of the following set is infinite and finite set. So that's all for our video today. Don't forget to like and share it with your friends and classmates. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video tutorial. Goodbye!